All right, so I have this text that I would like to put a profile on and um, looked all over the web, couldn't find any resources. So I found a few resources that kind of led me to creating this um, video tutorial. So um, oftentimes we want to put a more detailed uh, edge on our text and it's not real clear, at least it wasn't real clear to me, and I didn't, like I said, I didn't see any kind of videos out there that was putting a detail profile on the text edge. So that prompted me to go ahead and figure it out and then uh, share it with you. So I hope this helps, and I hope it gives you some ideas on um, how to do this. So um, what we're looking at is some text that you see over my shoulder, that has some uh, beveled edges on it, some profiles on it. And we need to create that in Blender. So let's take a look and see how we're going to go about doing that. All right, so typically in our, um, on our text, we just, hopefully you understand how to create text. And, um, uh, extrude it okay so how we would how we would do that is we would go and we would add a text object add text and then we would go into edit mode and then we would um, edit that go back out in the object mode we might rotate that so I would want to rotate that along the X and stand that up and then we would want to come over here into our toolbar and click on this text box. And we would want to extrude it. Okay, so we can extrude the depth of it. And um, until I did this video, that was about the extent of what I could do in Blender. And for some of you old timers, this might be old school and has and everybody knows how to do this. But like I said, I could not find any information on um, how about about going about doing this so um, I'm gonna try to show you how to do this so we have this beveled text or this extruded text and we want to put a profile on it kind of like this up here like my college um, it's extruded so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this alright so I've extruded this college text and now I want to put a profile on it. And we have to create those profiles in Blender. So um, I've got some profiles created. And I'll just kind of show you some different um, profiles on this text. So once we, when, once we decide we're going to put a, a special profile on it, we no longer are going to use these modification um, sliders. Uh, but we are going to use this bevel object button right here. So if I click on this, you'll see the different profiles that I have built um, to um, put that edge on there. So if I click on profile number two, let's see if there's one a little bit more. There. This is a little bit more um, extruded, a little bit more extreme on our on the bevel. So if we were to zoom in, now you can kind of see how I have uh, more than just uh, extruded it, but I have put a profile or a detail on that front edge. All right, and I'm going to show you how I do that. So I'm going to go into top mode. It's quite much easier for me to work on it in top mode. And I'm just going to click to set that cursor, and then I'll hit space bar and say add um, text. Or, I'm sorry, add a curve, and we're going to add that Bezier curve. Now, as you can see here, and this is this is kind of the profile, this curve, you're going to be editing this curve to create your actual profile. And unfortunately, right now it's so large that it's taking up one, two, three, four, five letters of our text. So we know it's way, way, way too big. That's not going to work on our um, image at all. So I'm going to go ahead and scale this. And we really want to scale it down small. And then I'm going to move it down here just so that you can kind of see. All 
All right, so now you can kind of see what I'm um, working on here. I'm trying to create a curve that's going to create this um, bevel or this profile. And we can still see that this curve is taking up almost half of our type and we really don't want that bevel. We just want that bevel to be on the edge from here to about right here. So we still need to scale down that curve. And that's looking pretty close. Okay, I think that will work. Alright, so let's go ahead and name this. So I'm going to double click on here and I'll say profile. I think I'm up to nine different profiles. All right, so we'll say profile nine. <clears throat> and then we'll select our text. So there's our text with my profile on it. We'll come over here to the text button and we'll pull down to our bevel object and we'll say profile number nine. Okay. And I don't have much going on with that bevel. So this is where now we have to go in, back in, and edit our profile. So here's profile number nine, and we'll tab into edit mode. So I work from left to right. So this is going to be my extrusion. And I'm going to. So if I click on this button and I extrude it, you'll see now I am actually creating my type extrusion. See how it was kind of flat and now we have this um, depth to our type. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and turn those into vectors so that they are nice and sharp and straight. All right, so now you kind of see our type up here jumping to what we're doing on our um, uh, curve. I'm just going to move this over so you can kind of see what we're doing. So this line is our extrusion. And if I go in and edit this, you'll see that kind of that type straighten up or that extrusion straighten up a little bit. I want that those two vector points to be just lined up perfectly. So there's my extrusion and I can make it longer. So if I want to make that extrusion deeper or shallow, more shallow, that's the button or that is the point that I'm going to work on or move. Alright, so now what we want to do is we want to interact with this face and this is how we're going to create that that um, profile. So if I go ahead and move this, you'll see now that I have a little bit of profile on my type. See, it comes up, comes along here, and then it dips down on that bevel. And we can see that. Right here is my dip down. And if I go and extrude that again, I can start adding detail to that extrusion or that bevel. Okay, see how that's starting to come out because I'm picking it up above. So that point is now above my face, my tight face and you'll kind of see what that looks like out here on my text. You'll kind of see how it dips down and then comes forward. Okay, and we can just go ahead and keep editing that. So if I wanted to extrude that, I could. And we could extrude that and dip that down. And then we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so you're seeing that we have this type come forward, it comes across, and then it dips down. And then what else can we do here? And we can put some curves here if we want to. And eventually you're going to, the, the thing that you have to keep, uh, be concerned about is how wide you get with this extrusion because eventually 
you're going to surpass the actual thickness or the width of your type. So if that happens, we can just come in here and choose these points and just move them back. And you'll see kind of how that extrusion is working as I move that. Okay, so we can kind of just keep playing with it and playing with it until we get that profile that we want. Okay? And you'll see um, I have some other profiles here, so we'll tab out of that and I'll just select this profile and kind of let you see um, So there's a, another profile that I created Here's profile number two. Here's that one that I showed you in the very beginning of that very extreme profile. And then there's just kind of a simple profile. Here's another profile up here. All right, so basically that is how you create um, detailed profiles in your text edges. And you can also create those text edges on the back side so we would just include rather than just letting that come back and be flat down here at the bottom so if I wanted to have both faces I would want to go ahead and copy this or ex um, continue this extrusion so that my profile would come back here then I would have a profile on the front and a profile on the back So let's go back to that profile number nine. And we've got it set up here on our um, on our text. And let's just uh, go ahead and render that out. Okay, and as I'm rendering it now, I see that I have some funny areas here. And that's just because I think I've pulled my profile a little bit too far. So I'm going to go back and try to fix that so that we get rid of some of that area there. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our profile and we'll get into um, edit mode. We're going to zoom in, and what we need to do is we just have this, pro we kind of have moved this profile, so we want to um, we just want to move that profile a little bit, and by moving it, it's going to give us a little bit more space, and um, kind of clean up that type a little bit. We just got a little bit too wide on that um, profile. So now it looks like it's um, we've got space in between our letters. The, the letters aren't plugging up. And now we can go back and try to render it again. Okay, so you can kind of see how it's rendering and we have fixed that little part on the E and um, so let's go back in, let's go, I'm going to stop that render and we're just going to go back in and edit that profile and get a little bit more um, stuff going on on the uh, face of our type so I'm going to zoom way in I'm going to get into edit mode and then we are just going to extrude and just see how far we can take this type. So I'm going to round off some of these corners. And just edit that profile. Now we'll go back in and see if that messed up our type at all. 
and it didn't. Yay, so we kind of see now that we're getting that kind of real fancy um, edge on our type. And we'll go and edit some more. We'll just add some more points. So we'll bring this up. Okay, so we dip down. You can kind of see how we have dipped down in this area and then we brought it back up with that profile. And we can even bring that up a little bit more if we want to. See what that does. Okay, so that is editing the edge profile of your type and getting kind of fancy with, um, with the details. So like I said, I wasn't able to find much information on YouTube about this topic, so I wanted to go ahead and create the video tutorial for you. I hope it helps. Um, I hope it explains kind of the concept of creating those profiles and uh, that it helps you in your future project. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and let me know whether or not you liked it and if it was helpful go ahead and subscribe. I've got more video tutorials on Photoshop and Illustrator and Blender as well. So good luck and happy rendering.